Good morning guys and girls. What are we here to talk about today? The inconspicuous throttle cable. Two ends. For most, throttle cable just starts from here. And that's all you think your throttle cable is. Open, shut, open, shut, bike goes and stops. There's another end. The other end you don't notice much, even when cleaning the carburetor. However, it's here. After removing the air filter, you have your carburetor. And unwinding this, here's the other end. This is what I talk about with the needle. I've discussed this quite often in other videos. But the cable, if you look up there, is just there. This can be a bit of a bugger to get off. And I'm going to show you in this video how. Morning, admittedly, it's on a speed fight. But often, other carburetors, like this one, have screws. One screw, two screws, or the twist a bit. This is the same for motorbikes as well as pets. The difference on a speed fight and other pets is with two small screws you can get this off. Remember to take pictures of how the cable goes in to make sure it does this. For this model, this has to come off. Then, this has to come off. Then, all the bottom here has to come off. And this is just so you can thread this cable through. It's a lot of work. You don't get much gratification out of it either. It's not like when you change an exhaust on a bike. Look at my bike, I've just changed exhaust. Rum, rum. It sounds so much better. Wow. Just changed the rollers and updated the clutch and put a brand new belt on it. Now it pulls away much faster. Brilliant. Change all the panels, look how shiny it looks. Change the cable. Now it opens and closes so much freer. See what I mean? Dramatised, sorry. <laughs> It's a lot of work for not much there. If you use a manual, like this one, these cover an awful lot of bikes at the same time. And it reads something like, dismembering the cable, the primary circuit, electrical connections, the coil, noting where the plug is, and checking primary notes. Please check section 5B for 4B. Once this done, then trans bend back to section 7 photo 6a that's not your model 6b 6c 6d 6e that's the panels then move back to carburetor section where i can see why these can get quite complicated but on the speed fight it just covers the speed fight which is a lot easier but still you're back and forth to different chapters this is what makes it difficult to go and this is where sometimes i'm a little bit more helpful than them because i explain as I'm called a trash mechanic in America. Still not sure that sounds good. <laughs> but I'll show you the basics of it. Today I'm not going to take this panel off, or that panel and that panel. I've done many videos of how to strip down these speed fights. Today we're talking about other generic bikes as well, so there may be screws in different places, but the basics are the same. Is this preventable? Well, yes. Speed fight cable's not too bad, but this is where your problem starts, where it connects to the accelerator, throttle, um, twisty thingy <laughs> and here this rubber here is quite nicely banded round here on others they're not they're a bit cheaper and what happens is water egresses into here here and goes down the cable and it rusts okay you can stop by when you first get the bike take it apart make sure you can get a good bit of entry in there spray WD and maintenance spray down there lots and lots and lots of it as much as you can get open and closing it and then make sure that you clamp them shut afterwards so it could be electrical tape or whatever the rubber was there again and this will make sure that it continually moves up and down like it's supposed to because what happens as I said is water gets in there or sometimes it fit it badly and then there's an opening here let's say water gets in and it will jam open it can be very very scary or it can just snap and then you're, you're sitting there with a bike that won't rev up so this is the other side of it to get this off you'd have to push this in and if you can see, this one's quite good, it's allowing that to poke out. All you need to do, once poking out, is trace it back up here, and this will come off. Then it's undoing all of this, and then 
that will come away and you can replace the cable. On these ones, slightly different, and we're going to go in the shed to do that, because we've done a little bit on here. But as I said, all these panels have got to come off to get the cable. Don't try and push the cable through a different way. Um, cheat, I've seen some people literally just dangle the cable here because they couldn't bother to do it. It's not going to last. It looks tacky as hell. On a 125 motorbike, you often just have to take the seat and tank off and then trace the wire. Remember how it traced through and follow it. The reason being is because the, the steering wheel changes and if you kept it tight, it would rev up and shut off again. That's an MOT failure, by the way, and can be very dangerous. You can imagine these pits, the fact that when you turn it, the revs go up, you fly off down the road. So making sure you get the right cable as well. For illustration purposes, inside the shed, We've got this carburetor here. Undo the two screws on the top of this one and you'll get a big spring. And the spring then with this little bit here. Obviously the cable's not on here. And out comes a slide. I did do a video recently on this needle. And this needle, if I take it very, very slowly towards you, let's hope you can see that. There is a small circlip. Hoping it's not blurred and there's different settings on here this can cause when you open the throttle fully and you get this little bit of a lull bit and then she'll take off again and you have to open it very slowly this can be the cause of that needle often should be on the number in the middle so if there's five adjustments three if there's only three adjustments then two I find lifting up one makes that better reason being is the air petrol mix doesn't always have its power to get enough air in there and this is allowing too much fuel in and she bogs down, bogging down, another video, check that one out. When taking the cable off guys, as I said, take pictures, take the actual accelerator throttle bit off first and you get much more cable here. This allows you then to be able to get the needle out of this little bit. And this just hooks in, it literally just hooks through. Okay, this can be a bugger to get out. On the speed fight, it's got this little shaft bit here that it can travel down, these ones it hasn't. And you have to push this in to be able to get that out, twist it round and it comes out. I said it can be a bugger. Don't lose the needle, don't lose any pieces. Real bugger if you do. This is the spring that normally is connected onto here. Okay guys, and this is what keeps it taut. Getting this out, you have to, with your fingers, screw up the spring as much as you possibly can to be able to get this little sleeve out and that's what this sits in and then pokes through this part here you'll see it when you're there a bit more difficult to show you in little bits I guess but guys that's as simple as that okay unrewarding yes necessity obviously Keep an eye on it when you're doing your general maintenance, guys. If you can open this up and put some WD down there, great. Don't use thick chain lube or anything. It will gunge it up. Just WD-40, maintenance sprays, PT, GT, whatever they are. They're all good for this. Nice opening and closing, as I said. There's another video I've done, guys, with the 10 top tips, saying having the tools, having the knowledge. If you really don't know about these for a £10 item, which they were under, um, and you don't know what you're doing, stick it in the garage because it can be quite vital and there's lots of parts you have to take off to get to it. As I said, make sure it travels the same way and make sure you get it fitted properly and take pictures when you undo something because the last thing you want to do is undo this and then think, well, how did this go back together? Last top tip guys, on the speed fights and on these and on my carb videos, there's the air petrol mix side and a blank side. On this needle and the float business here, one's got an open shaft, the other's got the smaller piece. The smaller piece is which way it goes into here, okay? Not the big bit. I've had people before put that down there, it doesn't go in properly and they wonder why the bike's revving continuously. It has to drop down nicely into that side. Drops down that way, okay guys? And you'll see it drop all the way down nicely in there and if you can see, Open the shutting, daylight, nothing. Yeah, that's how your bike works. And this is the needle setting, it drags it up, allows the petrol to come out into vapour, and away your bike goes. Guys, I hope that's been well explained. Um, sorry, a bit theatrical with my little bits of thumbs up. 
but that's the basics of these cables. Um, I do them and I don't even think about it nowadays, but this side's always been a bit of a bugger to do. Speed fight easy, other bikes it's going to be this way. Guys, around the outside, like, subscribe. Do check out my other ones, guys. There's lots and lots of speed fight videos, and just because speed fighting them doesn't mean it won't be generic to your bike when I explain things about the static coil, changing exhaust, and so on. Take care of yourself, guys.